We have 3,200 trees on the fairgrounds. We have, give or take, you know, a handful of perennial gardens, and we have about 25 annual gardens. Honestly, anything that grows on the fairgrounds is we're in charge of as a garden crew. Um, shrubs, trees, annual flowers, perennial flowers, that's, that's getting our, it's got our name written all over it. That's, that's what we do out here. Really, our, our year starts at the beginning of the year with picking out flowers and planning out our flower beds and stuff like that. And then once spring hits, we start just taking care of the flower beds, cleaning out the flower beds, picking out the weeds, um, clearing out anything that was dead from the previous season, and we just get everything ready so that we can just start planting and then just go to town with getting everything looking good for the fair. Oh, I mean, there's nothing more fun than having your hand in the dirt, getting dirty watching something, planting it when it's young, and then watering it, fertilizing it, and watching it grow. There is 21 annual flower beds. This one would be considered one. It's got one here, one there, and then one over there. And 13,000 flowers every year, depending on the variety. The first day we planted, I had a volunteer, and we planted over 800 in one day from 8 o'clock to 3.30. That was a pretty good day. I planted probably 75% of them, so if they're on the grounds, definitely. I've probably planted it. Volunteers have been awesome, and we really enjoy their help because they love gardening and just really cool thing, just a really cool thing. Well, we are just finishing up our planting phase. We do have a few gardens here and there that we are finishing up, but we are kind of in our maintaining phase. We're making sure we're fertilizing, we're picking all the weeds, and making sure the flowers have enough water and food to grow and get full for the fair in 50-some days. These are uh, magenta vincas. We're going at six inch spacing, and we'll go at uh, kind of alternate so they fill in a little bit better. Put it in there and make sure it's not, make sure there's some room in there, then just lightly fill in around it. You don't want to bury the plant, but you also don't want the root, the root ball sticking up either at the same time. So you want to make sure you're level, level with the ground, tamp it in nicely so it'll stand when we water it or any storm or anything like that. I always think the Marquee is one of our, our best um, flower beds. It's on the corner of 30th and University. Um, we have a flower bed up by Pioneer Hall. It is a long walk, but it is a pretty cool walk because it's a designed bed that has different flowers in it that spells out you know, a number of the yearly fair. And uh, we do have some new planters that um, are gonna be out on the fairgrounds that are newly designed and newly painted that are gonna be looking pretty good this year too that we're excited about. These flowers here, we have vincas and then we have purple fountain grass. The fun thing about these sweet potato vines is at the end of the year, you can take these out of the planter and you can take them home and eat them. When you spend all summer preparing these gardens to look good for the fair, after the fair, the gardens do not look good. Things that just happen through those 11 days that we can't water them all the time or you know, just mother nature takes their toll and they'll die and they just don't look so good. But the days after we're we're cleaning up the debris and all the stuff from the after the fair and all that stuff. So we kind of just maintain the gardens still. We make sure they look good. We pull any of the trash out. We pull any of the dead flowers out. We just do our regular thing. You know, we're still a garden out here. We still have people who come out after the fair to enjoy the grounds. So we try to keep everything looking as good as possible. Mm -hmm.